Hello, welcome to Spread Book Joy. Today I'm gonna to talk about the best middle grade books that I read in 2021. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jack, and if you're not new, welcome back to Spread Book Joy. And as some of you may or may not know, I'm a qualified primary school teacher and I love to share great books for children for home or school, and that's the reason I started this entire channel. Uh, so today, I want a very special video, which is about my favorite middle grade books. I was going to do a favorite books, children's books overall video, but it turns out I had quite a lot of picture books that I loved last year, so I'm doing a separate video for those. And as they're picture books, I'm gonna do a top-down sort of view of those picture books so that you can see them properly. So um, I know it's nearly the end of January, so I'm a bit late posting my best of 2021, but I think while we're still in January, it's still valid to do these videos. So I'm gonna go through them in the order I read them in. So they're not in the order that I enjoy, uh, sort of like a top five. They're not in any particular order because of, um, you know, ranking order. They're just in the order that I read them in. And um, I read quite a lot of middle grade and YA last year, um, not enough towards the end of the year, and I haven't, read any new YA or middle grade this year so far but my big booktube spin number five has thrown up um, I did a middle grade um, list for booktube spin number five uh, filmed a video for it and then discovered my camera had run out of battery so that's not going out but the uh, book that I got for it was uh, The Last Bear by um, Hannah Gold, which is absolutely beautiful and a book that I've been meaning to read for a long time. So that's my, uh, probably my first brand new, um, new to me anyway, middle grade book for 2022. Apologies for the lighting as well, because unfortunately um, I've had to put lights on. It's afternoon and in the UK in the winter. And of course it's really dark. So hopefully we'll see everything okay. So first up, this is actually one of the first books I finished in 2021. I finished this really early in 2021, and it's The Midnight Guardians by Ross Montgomery. And it's a story of a boy called Cole, and it's set during the Second World War, during the Blitz. He's been evacuated from London, and he wants to rescue his sister, uh, because um, there's an element of fantasy in this as well in British folklore. Cole's imaginary friends have come to life, and they've decided to come and help him uh, because something terrible is going to happen in London and he has to journey across the countryside to London to rescue his sister. I'm not going to say any more about it because I'm pretty sure I've done a video on it and if I haven't it's in one of my wrap-ups and so I'll leave a link to that video down below. Next, one of my favourite, favourite books this year and I loved it for a number of reasons was Amari and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Alston and the new book is coming out in February I believe which I can't wait for and this book I was so excited for this to come out and it didn't disappoint me. Um, Amari is it's your usual kind of uh, child who is uh, struggling in the real world and then discovers that they are special in some way that they have powers and they're taken off to learn about those powers very much you know like i say think harry potter or think percy jackson except instead of a white male protagonist we have a young black female protagonist and this is brilliant it's kind of like um like kind of it's got the all those vibes of those types of books I talked about so you've got a young protagonist who's pulled out of their world discovers they're special and they have to go and learn about themselves and their powers um, and Amari is just a wonderful character and it's a really fast-paced great book I have got a review of it I'll link the video in the description box below but I loved it and look at the cover I'm just going to take the cover dust jacket off so you can see but the cover underneath oh it's all beautiful it's all sparkly it's got silver sprayed edges just love it when they pay attention to detail on children's books after that i read something that is not everybody's cup of tea i don't think it will be everybody's cup of tea but i certainly loved it and i've got a full review of this and the cover is amazing and it is called Maggie Blue and the Dark World and it's all about again a very lonely young child called Maggie Blue and Maggie's mum is ill um, she's never met her father her mother is ill her mother seems to have had some sort of mental health crisis and she's been sent to stay with her auntie in a town that she doesn't know very well so she's going to school there she's being picked on she hasn't got any friends uh, the only friend she seems to have is this stray fat old cat called Hoagie who also appeared in my favourite feline characters of all time list that I did recently. Maggie Blue finds a way into another world because she witnesses someone being stolen away into that world. It's quite dark, um, it's got really strange elements to it. 
I find it really enthralling because I really enjoy that kind of fiction. So kind of think very kind of Neil Gaiman, very surreal um, world that she gets sucked into and it's not pleasant. It's actually marketed as a middle grade but it really feels much more like a YA book and it is the first in a series and I'm really looking forward to the next one but check out my review if you want to know more. The next book is so beautiful and I do have a full review of it. I was lucky enough to get an ARC, an advanced reader copy of this book and um, when I did the review video I didn't have the actual book yet because I reviewed it a couple of months before it came out but it was so amazing that I had to buy myself um, the book itself and for good reason. So the book is Julia and the Shark and it's by Kieran Millwood Hargrave and her husband Tom DeFreston who is an artist did the illustrations and it is just beautiful. It's fully illustrated. Check out the edges. Um, it's absolutely stunning and it's full of amazing, uh, beautifully produced book. It's full of amazing pictures. I'm just going to hold it up so you can see uh, some of the artwork inside and it's just stunning. So the story is all about a girl called Julia and Julia is on, not holiday as such, her parents are on a working holiday in Scotland trying to restore a lighthouse. Her father is trying to restore the lighthouse and her mother is a marine biologist. I got a signed edition, I pre-ordered it. and. Um, it's just beautiful. I mean, the um, story itself is a tale of um, mental health, friendship, and hope. Ultimately, it's a tale of hope. Um, I've got a full review on the book, and I'll link that in the description box below, but this is just an absolutely beautiful book, full of stunning illustrations, and just beautifully written. Kieran Millwood Hargrove's writing is just some of the most lyrical and beautiful writing in children's books today so I'd really recommend this one. Last but definitely not least I read uh, The Haunting of Aveline Jones and I absolutely loved this. I read this at the turn of the seasons in autumn and I got this for my birthday from a lovely Instagram friend at Reading Rebex who sent this to me and I'm forever grateful because it is short but sweet and it's a proper ghost story. I've got a full review of it uh, which I'll link in the description box below but um, there is a second book out which I read The Bewitching of Aveline Jones. Haven't done a review of yet but I will and I absolutely loved this. It's spooky and atmospheric and it's a proper ghost story. Um, Aveline goes on holiday again, another child who's sent away to stay with an auntie. She stays in a small Cornish town and Aveline is an avid reader and she goes to um, a local bookshop and picks up a book of ghost stories and um, then spooky things start to happen to her. So it's really, really great, very atmospheric and I just loved it. So, have you read any of those books? If you're interested in any of those, I'll link any uh, further videos I've got for them in the description box below. And hopefully, if you've never been here before and you like this, you'll consider making a comment, clicking like, even subscribing perhaps. And hopefully I'll see you again here soon.